Hi, this is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new series that is going to be continuing. And today we're going to look at the in-between mare. This horse is between the uh, proud Arabian mare and the family Arabian mare. And we're looking at this because today I would like to discuss anatomy. In most of these videos, we're not going to be going over anatomy because it's really not required. So we're going to discuss it almost all here in this video. And we have the ABCs, which is anatomy, biomechanics, and confirmation. So we are going to just talk about anatomy here. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say this is one of my favorite moles, even though it's not going to star very high in anything. I love this one, and I like it for its historic uh, fact that it came out in 59 or 60. It never was properly released. And if it was released as a regular run, I would love it as much. But these ones, as uh, they were released in the Vintage Club, I just love them. First, let's discuss what anatomy itself is. What we're looking at is the bones and how they are positioned in a way to make up a horse. We are also looking at how the internal organs have location to be within this bone structure. And that is the basic anatomy of a horse. By the way, if you're enjoying these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Now to delve into this further, I am just going to go to the head and the neck of the horse. And what we're looking at is the bones, are they horse related head and neck? Proportionally on a horse, you want a line drawn from the top of the head to the nose to be approximately the same as a line drawn from the back of the jaw to the clavicle. Now other mammals have all the same bones. You still see these neck bones from C1 to C7 on the horse as you do on us humans. However, if you look at that line, it is only about half. So our neck, where all those bones, are probably less than half of the length of our head. Now if we look at the other end of the scale, we can see the giraffe, and he still has the same seven neck bones. However, they're elongated. You can see how the humans are very tiny, the horses are medium, and the giraffe is extended. We're still looking at the same anatomy, but this anatomy and that anatomy makes for a different animal. So you can see in the giraffe, it's almost three times the length. The neck is three times the length almost as the head. So now let's take a look at the in-between mare. She has all the bone structure required to be a horse. However, if we look at the lines in proportion, we can see that her head, her neck is way too long. It has this little green line, too much to be a well put together horse. Anatomically, that means that her seven bones in the neck have been stretched longer than they should be. That is an anatomy problem, not a conformation or biomechanics problem. Let's also look at this line. This headline, it sh this from here to here should be one and an eighth, so that's almost right, and here to here should be one. But what has happened is she's got a dropped back here, confirmation issue, and a dropped belly. Now look what happens if I give her a little push. I'm going to push her belly up so she doesn't have this back anymore. Give a little bit more fullness in here. And all of a sudden, she looks much more correct in this area. And next, let's push her head down a little bit. And look, she is now an anatomically correct. I'm not going to go over any biomechanics or confirmation, but at this point, I would call her anatomically correct. As much as I love this model, I'm still going to give her a, only a one star in artistic flair, and I wouldn't consider showing her in either breed or performance, even though if you do show her in breed, I guess she'd be an Arab or part Arab. Playability is low only because she's highly collective, collectible, and I wouldn't want anybody playing with her. Thanks for joining me on my journey. Please check out the next video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!